What's good YouTube? Dodge Man here back with another video. Today we're going to talk about efficiency, the major key to making gains in med school. So what sparked this topic in me is, well, right now I'm a second year medical student in FU and RMF, and I'm also a 105 kg powerlifter. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, welcome to the channel. Anyway, this topic sparked in me because you know, after a full year of medicine, I was still powerlifting. I still made gains. I see, in fact, I made the most gains I've ever had in any year of powerlifting. I've been powerlifting now for four years. The past three years, I just, it wasn't as good as this last year for me. And I think I figured it out and while still in medical school. So I think, you know, a lot of people don't know how actually easy it is to do that. And it's just, they don't know how to be efficient at what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, it varies from individual to individual, but efficiency is, you can be, you can streamline your whole approach to studying, to going to the gym or to any hobby or whatever you want to do aside from medical school. And they just can't wrap their heads around this concept of being efficient. And like, sometimes they're just not, how do I say this? They're just not, it's not naturally, it's not a natural inclination for them to be that. They, j they want to be quote unquote meticulous, but there's some things in life where you can still be meticulous, but you can still work fast. You know what I'm saying? And I think sometimes as well, you know, you can be meticulous because you need to work fast. So in the end of the day, being efficient requires sacrifices. And sometimes those sacrifices, people aren't willing to make them. If that makes sense, right? So first let's define what efficiency is, right? So efficiency is for me, well, okay, fine. Let's let's just drop in like a definition of efficiency right there. But I'll give you my own special definition of efficiency, right? So basically efficiency for me is doing the least amount of work with the least amount of time required while still achieving an above average result. So that's kind of loaded, right? So let's just examine that definition one by one. So efficiency is doing the least amount of work in the least amount of time. That's basically what efficiency is. Streamlining your whole studying or whatever come what may that you might do so that it takes the, less, the least amount of time, but still, you're still getting the work in. You know, that's, you know, in lifting, that's pretty much the metaphor for almost any lifting program out there. You know what I'm saying? If you're into lifting, you know what I'm talking about. It's basically finding that max volume that you can recover from, but it's not exactly the max volume that you can never recover from. Well, what the fuck did I just say? All right, cut that out. That's not what I wanted to say. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, you're trying to figure out the least amount of volume you're trying to grow on any lifting program. Why? Because if you start so high on a lifting program in terms of volume, there's only so high you can go after that that it's harder to progress after. Does that make sense? Because if it doesn't, then you don't know how to be efficient, right? And in lifting, especially in powerlifting, you got to be super fucking efficient. So. Now let's shift this over to back to med school. The least amount of time, the least amount of work. That in itself is something that a lot of people don't understand. For of course, if you're a scholar, an overachiever, that's not gonna apply to you. Cause the least amount of time, you just scrap that. You just want the most amount of work done, right? But for the people who want to succeed in a lot of different areas, you're not a genius, you're, not, you're just a normal person, you're just an average person. This is how we go about things, all right? For any successful person anyway, that's not just that doesn't have the natural inclination to be just not have the natural inclination to be uh, overachieving. So the least amount of time, least amount of work. I feel like I've repeated that all all over the place this video, but that's it. It's that simple. Being efficient is being thinking of time as an investment and work being the the thing you get back. You're gonna look at a graph or a curve and you're just gonna say to yourself, where is that place, where is that point where time is increasing and then work is still increasing, right? And that's where the time spent should be put at. Because 
the law of diminishing returns kicks in once a certain amount of time goes up your work will not increase as much if you understand there's a graph in front of me right now i hope i know how to do that if not well you know just gonna imagine for yourselves if time is linearly going up work will never linearly go up as well that's because the amount of work you put in that tent your attention span your brain capacity always has its limits so once time goes up there's a point where your brain will plateau right you gotta you, you can relate this to how it is when you're training and let's say fatigue versus fitness like when you're training your fatigue always goes up as volume accrues and fitness always goes up until you can't handle any more volume because the, the fatigue is rising too high and your your fitness will plateau and eventually go down that's what happens when you're studying or doing any other fucking task is that there's a certain point where you're not gonna be as efficient as you were at the start you know what I'm saying and you got to find that perfect medium of like it's not your your your, uh, your learning capacity your, the amount of work that you can do should never plateau it should always be at that peak point and should never reach a plateau when time is still increasing and that my friends is how you can be efficient while still uh, receiving an above average result because you're timing your time to peak with the most amount of work you can possibly fit in that time how does that work with medicine right I'll give you an example I'll give you an example right let's say for me if there's a major ex oh, major exam is not good because you know if it's a major exam you're gonna give it your all right if it's an exam like a major exam that's worth 50% of your grade you're gonna have to you're gonna have to study all night for that there's no getting around that because it's such a huge part of your grade but let's say it's just a shifting right that's 20 percent. that's still a lot but you don't have to go all out on it every single fucking time so like for example i have a shifting on monday i'll study on sunday right i know for me that after around four hours i experience diminishing returns on my study meaning my work starts to plateau and eventually it goes down right so i know when i reach four hours or when I'm just not feeling it that day, I'm gonna stop studying after I finish the topics as fast as possible, or at least to my ability. And then I stop studying the whole day. I'm just gonna allot that to other things I want to do, whether that's relaxation, going to the gym, or other hobbies. And then I'm gonna study the following morning because I know that my productivity spikes in the morning because I had just woken up, I had just got my first coffee of the day, and it's like, the time I invest in the mornings exponentially increases in proportion to the work I do. By that, if, they, if that wasn't clear enough, I mean if, for example, I study on a Sunday, like afternoon, like one to four, I might finish two topics, right? And then I study again, like 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. That's two to three hours. I'm going to finish three to four topics that day. That's because I know that I'm very, very efficient in the morning and I work within that scope no, knowing that I can do things really, really fast in the morning so I can become still, still become even more efficient than I was. And I hope you understood that because like how it works for me might not necessarily work for you. But the thing is, you can't just spend all night studying. For some people that may work, but that's just not time efficient in my opinion why because you're losing sleep when you study when you pull out an all-nighter and i understand some people uh, study really slow that's not a gripe on them that's just how they study but the thing is stud losing sleep over studying is the most terrible idea you could ever have why because when you wake up the next day all your activities will be affected. You will become less efficient at every single motherfucking thing you do because you lack sleep. That's how important sleep is. In the gym, like basketball, listening to lectures, anything, if you lack sleep, law of diminishing returns kicks in that just that much more faster. And that's why I don't believe in going all out all-nighters man like that is the most inefficient thing you can do and that was 
that is one of the major gripes I have about med school is that they think most professors think that they you can you can sleep what five six hours a day you know what I'm saying like they expect you to go all nighters dude that's not healthy at all and that's being the most that's being at the peak of your motherfucking inefficiencies man and it really grinds my gears and you're wondering why you can't succeed in anything other than study and that's because you don't have fucking sleep you know that's the most inefficient thing you could possibly do all right so it's like you know if you don't learn anything from what i just said about my example about being efficient about putting in putting in putting in the optimal work in the amount of time frame before your work plateaus i just like to say man like at least learn that sleep is more important than anything else right that if you have a choice which you always have in medical school because you're in school you're not in judea you're not in rotation in hospitals yet is get your fucking seven to nine hours of sleep every single day I, you know to get that you're gonna have to make sacrifices and i get that you know some days you might not be able to drink for me i have stopped drinking altogether for the most part because i knew that if i try it just you know the hangover the night uh, the night after the, the day after and all that stuff is not worth it to me i just became bec become an even more inefficient slob and you gotta recognize the trade-offs you're gonna try to say you know to be successful you gotta make sacrifices and if you're not willing to make those sacrifices then you know i'm not gonna wonder if you're not successful someday you know and you're gonna wonder why you are not successful and it's, just, it's easy you gotta make sacrifices right the thing is you can still be successful without sleep but it's just it's not efficient man like why would you sacrifice the one thing that will make your day even more efficient and i'm not like it's 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 a very it's a very controversial topic that kind of deviated from my original video but anyway if you want to succeed in lifting, being efficient is the key. Lifting in med school, you have to be efficient, man. You got to make sacrifices if you want the gains. And as is with anything in life, really, you got to make the fucking sacrifices if you want to succeed, you know? And if, you, if, you're, if your other goals don't line up with lifting, maybe you should just stop lifting, you know what I'm saying? And focus on your other goals, because some people can't handle multiple goals at once, so. Basically, at the end of it all, be efficient at what you want to become good at. And you will succeed. Definitely. Definitely. Alright. I think this video got too sidetracked, but I hope you guys learned something from it. Drop below in the comment box below if you did. Or, you know, if you want to be more efficient. If you think sleep is great, sleep is God. Comment down below. Sleep is God. Yeah. I'm done with the video. If it inspired something in you. Subscribe, maybe, and I'm out.